15 things you didn't know about Hublot. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're talking about one of the rising stars in the luxury watch game, Hublot. Hublot is a luxury watch company that came up quick and appears to be here to stay. In 1980, Carlo Crocco left his uncle's watch company to start his own luxury watch brand. After years of research and development, he introduced Hublot, and in its first year sold $2 million worth of watches. When Jean-Claude Beaver took over as CEO in 2004, the brand became known for even more creative designs and groundbreaking styles without compromising the quality and luxury of the brand. Their brand ambassadors include world record sprinter Usain Bolt, undefeated boxer Floyd Mayweather, Indian cricketer Rohit Sharma, football star Pele, and basketball star Dwayne Wade. They also have partnerships with Ferrari, the Chelsea Football Club, FIFA World Cup, the Dallas Cowboys, the Miami Heat, and the World Poker Tour, to name a few. In 2008, Hublot was acquired by luxury goods group LVMH, which encompasses brands like Louis Vuitton, Dior, Marc Jacobs, and Fendi. Although it's an infant compared to the Swiss luxury watch companies it competes with, its innovative nature and high-profile collaborations with well-known names in a variety of arenas have pushed this brand to the forefront. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. From rap lyrics to the boxing ring to the wrists of celebrities around the world, Hublot seems to be everywhere these days, and we know there are some future billionaires here who have their eye on this luxurious watch brand. So let's take a closer look with the 15 things you didn't know about Hublot. Number 1. It took three years and over $1 million to develop the first rubber watch strap. Hublot was the first luxury watch to ever feature a natural rubber strap, and Carlo Crocco worked for three years and spent over $1 million to make this happen. What took so long? Crocco wanted to create a specialty rubber that would not crack or stain. He also had to find a solution to the odor that rubber naturally carries, which is why he had the rubber mixed with a rare and potent vanilla. He also needed the right combination of strength and comfort, which he achieved by chemically fusing steel with the rubber. This rubber strap set Hublot apart in its early years, but now a number of luxury brands have utilized this style. Number 2. Nobody bought a single watch when Hublot had their debut. Carlo Crocco debuted his new watch design at the 1980 Basel Watch Fair in Switzerland. However, he failed to attract even one potential customer at the fair, and not a single order was placed. Number 3. Orders increased 300% when Jean-Claude Beaver introduced the Big Bang. Carlo Crocco started looking for someone to take over as CEO for Hublot in 2003, and in May of 2004, Jean-Claude Beaver was named CEO and minority shareholder of Hublot. Beaver immediately started working towards a new flagship collection, which became the Big Bang Chronograph that was introduced in April of 2005. Hublot watch sales increased 300% in the year after the new watch model hit the market. Number 4. Hublot created a special Big Bang Unico Usain Bolt watch. To help celebrate the incredible accomplishments of their brand ambassador Usain Bolt, which includes 11 world championship titles and 8 Olympic medals, Hublot introduced the Big Bang Unico Usain Bolt watch. Only 100 yellow gold models and 250 all black ceramic models were offered in this limited edition. Bolt helped to design the watches and it includes shades of his favorite colors, green and gold. Its strap also features an embossed Jamaican flag. It has a lightning bolt shaped central chronograph hand and a silhouetted figure of Bolt on the chronograph subdial. Number 5. Beyonce gave Jay-Z a $5 million Hublot in 2013. Beyonce decided to give Jay-Z a $5 million special edition white gold Hublot Big Bang watch for his 43rd birthday back in 2013. The watch is completely covered in diamonds, 1,282 to be exact, a total of more than 140 carats. Number 6. In 2017, Jean-Claude Beaver had a top position at three different watch companies. 
As we mentioned, Jean-Claude Beaver became the CEO of Hublot in 2004, but he became chairman of the board in 2012, appointing Ricardo Guadalupe as his successor. He became the CEO of fellow LVMH watch brand Tag Heuer in 2014. Also, in 2017, he took on an interim CEO position at Zenith Watches for three months, simultaneously having a top position at three watch companies during that time. Number 7. Hublot means porthole. When Carlo Crocco set out to start his own watch company, he decided to name it Hublot after the French word for porthole. This was appropriate because of the porthole case that all early Hublot watches had. Number 8. Hublot gained popularity thanks to some royal clients. Although Hublot didn't attract much attention at its debut, the watch gained quick recognition when it caught the eye of several members of royalty. The King of Greece was Hublot's first high-profile client, followed by the King of Spain, the King of Sweden, and the Prince of Monaco. They all purchased the only model Hublot had at the beginning with a black dial, porthole case, and of course, the black rubber strap. Number 9. The 2012 NBA Champions All Received Custom Hublot Watches when the Miami Heat won the NBA championship in 2012, Hublot had their brand ambassador, Dwayne Wade, present his fellow Heat teammates and coaches with custom Hublot white Big Bang watches. The Miami Heat logo and the championship date were engraved on the back of the watches, and each one was valued at $14,800. One person who didn't attend the gift presentation was LeBron James, who was an ambassador for Hublot competitor Audemars Piguet at the time. Number 10. Hublot pays at least $1 million for their brand name to be on Floyd Mayweather's shorts. Hublot has had a long-running endorsement deal with boxer Floyd Mayweather. Although many companies keep their distance from Floyd because of his history of domestic violence, Hublot considers that a personal matter and has no problem shelling out major money to connect their brand with the boxing champion. Mayweather set the bar high, saying that he no longer accepts endorsement deals that are less than $1 million. That is the price that Hublot reportedly paid to have their brand name front and center on the shorts Mayweather wore for his fight against Pacquiao, and they paid at least that much to be on the shorts Mayweather wore to fight Conor McGregor in 2017. If you want to find out some more facts about the undefeated boxer, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Floyd Mayweather. Number 11. Hublot partnered with Wiseki to fight counterfeits. In 2009, Hublot partnered with security company Wisekey to fight against imitations of their watches. Each watch is protected by a smart card that can be used to prove its identity and origin. From the fall of 2009 on, each Hublot watch has come with the electronic smart card in its case. In 2015, Hublot expanded this technology, allowing the watch owner to check the authenticity of their watch, download manuals, and register for the brand's Hublotista Club simply by tapping the card against their smartphone. Hublot was the first watch company to use such technology to protect against counterfeits. Number 12. The company turned a high-profile mugging into a marketing opportunity. In 2010, Formula One management president and CEO Bernie Ecclestone was attacked by four men who stole his Hublot King Power F1 watch, along with other jewelry worth over $250,000. Bernie sent a picture of his bruised face to Jean-Claude Beaver with a note that said, See what people will do for a Hublot? Two weeks later, Hublot came out with an ad featuring the unretouched photo and the text of his note. The ad ran one time in two publications, the Financial Times and the International Herald Tribune. The ad backfired a bit though, as people don't find the idea of getting mugged particularly appealing, and certain groups thought they were trivializing violent crimes, but Bernie personally requested that the ad be made, and it certainly brought the brand attention. Number 13. Hublot named Jet Li as their first Asian ambassador. In 2016, Hublot opened a new shop in Beijing where they introduced their Spirit of Big Bang Bruce Lee B Water Limited Edition watch in collaboration with the Bruce Lee Foundation. They also introduced Jet Li as their first Asian ambassador, and he is the first film star to be an ambassador for the watch company. Number 14. Hublot made 50 limited edition MP05 LaFerrari watches. As a part of a longtime partnership with Ferrari, Hublot introduced the MP05 LaFerrari as a tribute to the Ferrari LaFerrari that was unveiled in 2013. 
The limited edition watch has a sapphire crystal face, designed to resemble the outline of the LaFerrari supercar. It has a 50-day power reserve, which is a world record for a hand-wound Torbulon wristwatch. It also has 637 components, which is the largest amount of any Hublot watch. Only 50 were made and were originally sold for around $300,000 each. Number 15. Hublot gave DJ Khaled a one-of-a-kind watch for his birthday. When you invite Hublot CEO Ricardo Guadalupe to your birthday party, you can bet he won't show up empty-handed. Ricardo attended DJ Khaled's 41st birthday party in 2016 and gave him the gift of a $100,000 customized watch. The special edition watch features Khaled's major key logo on both sides of the brand, and the case back holds his signature phrase, We the Best. As if that weren't enough, Ricardo also gave Khaled some rare Lasvati Hublot all-black sneakers. This was the shoe's debut and only 100 pairs were produced. Now that you've learned more about Hublot, we want to know, do you prefer Hublot, Rolex, or a different luxury watch brand? Let us know what you think in the comments. And thanks for sticking around. Here's a bonus fact just for you. Jay-Z mentions Hublot in his 2011 song Otis with the lyric, new watch alert, Hublot's. And he's also wearing a $13,000 Hublot classic fusion in the music video. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.